I think we need more freedom of choice. I would like to take the word should and remove it from the vocabulary forever. I replace it with the word could. Could gives us choice and we are never wrong with could. Then I ask people to reread the list. several ways saying I should. Some people they find it difficult to begin and some find it difficult to stop writing. Alright? And when you do this I want you to read your list to me saying I should. And as you read I'm gonna say why? And the answers that usually come out are interesting such as my mother said I should or I'm afraid not to or <clears throat> I have to be perfect well, everybody has to do that. Or I'm too lazy, too short, too tall, too fat, too thin, too ugly, too worthless. These answers show where they're stuck in their belief and limitations. See, I believe that should is one of the most damaging words in our life. Every time we use the word should, we are in effect saying wrong. Either we are wrong, or we were wrong, or we're going to be wrong. I don't think we need more wrongs in our life. I think we need more freedom of choice. I would like to take the word should and remove it from the vocabulary forever. I replace it with the word could. Could gives us choice and we are never wrong with could. Then I ask people to reread the list one at a time. Instead of using the word should, begin using the word could. If I really wanted to, I could. This puts a whole new light on the subject. And as they do this, I ask them gently, why haven't you? And now we hear a different answer. I don't want to. I'm afraid. I don't know how. Because I'm not good enough. Too often, people berate themselves of years about something they never wanted to do in the first place. Or they criticize themselves about doing something that someone else said they should do. When they can see that, right, you can just drop it from the should list. What a relief that is, right? Look at all the people who forced themselves for years into a career that they don't like. Only because their parents said that they should or their brother said that they should become a teacher or a dentist. How often have we felt inferior because we were told we should be smarter, richer, or more creative. What is there on your should list that could be dropped by and honestly give you a sense of relief? We notice that honestly the things that we say that we should do are things we never wanted to do or things we wanted to do just to please others. So it's honestly because we're afraid or feel that we're not good enough. We start a process of releasing that feeling of being wrong by not fitting someone else's standards. 
Next, right, I explain to my clients my philosophy of life, which is very, very, very easy. Remember, it's very simple. What we give out, we get back. The universe supports every thought we choose to think and believe. When we were little, we learned how to feel about ourselves by the reactions of the adults around us, right? These beliefs will be recreated at its experiences as we grow up. Pay attention. But thought patterns in the, the thought, the, with thought patterns, the thought power is in the present moment. Change can, can happen in this present moment as well. It's sessions like this that helps people to be able to overcome them problems. There's only one thing that I ever work on. And this is loving the self. Love is the miracle cure. Loving ourselves works miracles. I'm not talking about vanity or arrogance or being stuck up. For that's not love. That is only fear. I am talking about having a great respect for ourselves. And a gratitude for the miracles of our body and of our mind. Love to me is appreciation to such a degree that it fills my heart to overflowing joy. Love goes in any direction. I can feel love for the very process of life itself, the joy of being alive, the beauty I see, another person, knowledge, which is power, the process of the mind, our bodies and how they work, animals, birds, fishes, vegetation in all its forms, the universe and how it works, the way that it works. What can you add to this? Can you add anything? Please do. Please do. Let's look at some of the ways we don't love ourselves. We scold and criticize ourselves, right? Endlessly. We mistreat our bodies with food or alcohol or drugs. We choose to believe that we are unlovable. We are afraid to charge a decent price for our services. We create illnesses and pain in our body. We do this. We procrastinate on the things that will benefit us. We live in chaos and disorder. We create debt and burdens. We attract lovers and mates that belittle us. What are some of your ways? Comment. Leave them, show them, speak them, because there are there are honestly acts of us not loving ourselves.